So guys, I'm gonna show you a brilliant side dish that is so beautiful, delicious, and really fun to put together. It's carrots cooked in a bag with thyme, butter, and beautiful white wine. So as it cooks and steams, like the liquid sort of drips back on itself, and it almost like self-bastes. And also, it looks super, super cool. So I've got some lovely carrots. Now on the story of carrots, if you grow your own, then you'll know all about this, but you can get different colored carrots. What we know as the classic is the orange. It's not the classic. Actually, this is much more like the original, okay? So it's actually the Dutch farmers celebrating the Dutch royal family, the House of Orange, that made pretty much all carrots in the world orange. It was kind of like veggie propaganda back in the days. And now we're able to sort of see those beautiful heirloom varieties come back. So look, give them a wash, give them a scrub. I like to leave the tops on, so just about a centimetre, two centimetres uh, from the top of the carrot. If you have any nice, really baby carrot leaves, then you can use those for salad leaves. If not, give it to your rabbit. I haven't got a rabbit, but you can give it to your guinea pig. I haven't got a guinea pig, so you could give it to the compost. I'm gonna leave them whole, but I do want you to have a little look at this, because it's just fascinatingly beautiful. Look at that. Whether you're making a beautiful coleslaw, you know, a lovely carrot salad, amazing. But what I want to do is show you something really special. So this method you could use for many different vegetables, even cooking fish. Get yourself, you know, a nice sheet of tin foil, and then we're going to create a little place for putting the carrot. So I'm going to fold it in half, and think of this like an envelope. And for all you young hipsters out there, you won't remember what an envelope is. In the old days, we used to write on paper, put it in an envelope and post it to people. It was lovely. You could open it up and read, oh, it's amazing. But you could text it. Think of it as a... Anyway, put our carrots in like this. Just line them up. We're going to season it. Then I'm going to take some cumin. And that little pinch will give you like a savouriness, a depth of flavour. We want to really strip it back so it's just a question mark of kind of savouriness, delicious. And then I want to get sort of four little knobs of butter. Right, now the butter's important because as the moisture cooks out of the carrots and as the wine cooks with the carrots, the butter will make the simplest of sauces, really shiny, thick and gorgeous. And then my herb of choice, which you could change up, is thyme. Thyme and carrots is brilliant. Just get yourself some nice little tips like that. Sometimes when I do this, I might grab like a little bit of orange and just put a little bit of peel in there just to give it some fragrance. So I'm not gonna add the wine yet because I wanna make this perfect pouch. Now, if you want this pouch to not escape any kind of steam, take some egg and put it around the edge of the tin foil. Think of this like glue, right? This is gonna stop any steam escaping from this tin foil envelope. So then we take it over like this and we'll do this side first. Fold over one edge, about an inch, and then a second. And really take a little bit of pride in making it nice and accurate. And then the last edge here is when we can just tilt it up a little bit and we can put in a glass of wine. So look at that, the perfect little envelope. So get this on a thin baking tray. We're gonna cook this for about 45 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius, which is 450 Fahrenheit. And I have one I made earlier. Check this out, look in the oven. Boom, looking pretty damn fine. So I'll put this in and let's take this one out. And look at that. So let me show you what I like to do. I get my dinner out, I get people around the table, and then just that last 20 seconds, I just pop the gas on, get this puffed up, to its maximum. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Mm. It's gonna explode. And in it goes. Everyone's like, what's going on? Peel it back, watch your fingers. Come and have a look in here. Absolutely beautiful. You can just dress it in itself. And I think the most powerful thing from this is the smell. The only right thing to do now is have a try. Enjoy. So good. Next time you want to take one of your dinners, whatever it may be, to the next level, you might not have to change it. Maybe just change what goes with it. Do that. Freak them out, but give them something ultimately thoughtful, cared for, and utterly delicious. Happy days. <laughs>